With the victorious power of his right hand. With the victorious power of his right hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the word of God. It is the book of Psalms, chapter 20, verse 6. Verse 7 says, Some trust in chariots. Oh my God. Tell someone, Some, some trust in chariots. Some trust in chariots. Others, Others. in horses. In horses. But we, but we, in the foundation church, in foundation church. we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are lifting his name. And the more we lift him, 
the more touch people are broken. What are you if you? Amen. It's always been to at a very young age. Nothing can stop you from worshiping God. Glory be to God. Amen. That is why we are worshiping in this body. Children, learn to worship God. You know there are children who are, whose hands are very hard to lift. They start to lift up your hands.
you for your grace and for your mercy in this place. We give you the glory, we give you the honor to your name. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this room this morning. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we thank you for your ministry to each and every one of us. Thank you for the covering of the glory of God in this place. The anointing that breaks every yoke of the enemy. Yes. We thank you for the move of God and the way you are ministered to us at this hour. No. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, thank you for the Holy Ghost. We say thank you. Raise up your voice, somebody, and tell God, thank you for this moment. Thank you for your word in my life. Thank you for the promise of God in me.
sentiment of belief. Hallelujah. Let's go. I am a winner and not a loser. I am a victor and not a victim. I have changed my mind and my attitude to reflect what God says about me. My faith is built on God's heart. I can do all that God says I can do. Nothing is impossible from this moment on, for I am a new breed, a new kind, a remnant, and I am after my purpose. Amen. You became a coffee quantity. Hallelujah. Amen. To the rest of the Chini. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the people who are taking part in this. I don't know why I think my spirit we should praise the Lord more. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh yes, there is power in praising God. I feel we should continue to praise Jesus. My brother Kebel is speaking to you. Amen. With the song of the Spirit. Yes. Not the songs of entertainment. They are songs of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. We should praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. There is joy when we come before the house of God and we praise you. Amen. Let me tell you, child of God, something very important. Ukisoma Bibiria utapata ya kwamba wana wa Israeli walianzia with the days of creation, the days of Adam and Eve. The book of Genesis talks about creation and God used mouth to create. The Bible says the earth was formless. There was nothing except the Spirit of God. Tell someone the Spirit of God is very important in your life. The Spirit of God is very important. Amen. So, this is what happened those days. When the creation was made, God saw that everything that he formed was very good. We are too very good. And he proceeded to create man because the purpose for creation of the earth was to create a place a man can rule and reign. Hallelujah. Amen. A place for a man to rule and reign. Remember, God rules where? Come on. God rules where? He rules and reigns. He is seated above. We believe that heaven is above. Where he watches over us. So he is above all of us. But he created a place for man so that when he is sitting there above, he can be watching man. What are you doing there? That is why he told him, Nime kupatia shamba, upandiri, upande nifizuri. Praise the Lord. God likes a good environment. But yes, was a few. That is why he created man to rule and to reign on the earth. Let's go. From the book of Genesis, Tunakuja mali ya baba, tunambiwa And men, in the days of Enoch The son of Kai Tunasiku mtu wa nipuliza Kai na nituwa mtu wa Tunakuambia one of these things I'm thinking about that topic And the Bible says Men began to call on the name of the Lord Ambia mtu watu walianza zamani kuomba Kwa hivu wakuna kitungeli tunafanya Amen it is only that we have a problem in this age. Kuna vile tumelewa katika mboma zetu. Kuna vile tumelewa kwa ndi. Kuna vile tumelewa. So wakati umekua mkubwa, unambiwa kila magoti wabi ya kwa sama mwili. Kuna sikia unalijua kaya. Na ni kuambia ukwe, ukienda kwa nyumba yako, unayana kwa nyumba yako, unayana kwa nyumba yako, unayana kwa nyumba yako. Sasa unashidua, unikataa kubongo, unayana kwa nyumba yako. The time you go, unayana kwa nyumba yako. Are we together? Why? Because the devil is against the people who praise. And the devil doesn't like when people praise to our family. What they want to know about Shetan, I will see part of the first of our family. What I guess was it. Amen. Your mother and our young man, your mother and your mother and your mother and your pastor and your baby, you have to tell him that you have to tell him that you have to tell him that you have to Child of God, pray. Child of God, pray. And we have to pray. Pray. Praise the Lord. When Jesus
So when we talk about the kingdom, we are living. Only a president, if you need a president, you are going to want to do something, you have to go to the parliament and so many processes of the court. Someone can oppose them in the court. Are we not even? But when a king is reigning in his authority and he says every day today it is not working today, nobody will go to work because a king is a part of the law. The game to be environment and continue as a that is why if a king comes and tells you, my brother, you know what? You are blessed. You are recorded in the books of life that there was a man that met with a king. And a king said that man is blessed. It was final. So when we talk about the kingdom, we pray our father was in heaven on a TV and but as you have said, thou kingdom come. If I am walking in the kingdom of God, why am I sick? If I am walking in the dominion of the kingdom, why am I suffering like this? Those are the questions we are supposed to ask ourselves as a child of God. That is why when we say that we be back on earth is in this level, that means there is a way heavens operate. That is how we are supposed to operate here on earth. Are we not even? So in heaven there are no sickness. Here we travel upon the sickness and the pain. We say you sickness, you pain. You have no power because the kingdom of God is ruling inside you. So when we walk, we walk as a kingdom. When we move, we move as a kingdom. When we do anything, we do, we do as a kingdom. Why? Because the kingdom of God is in us. That is why some of us, by the grace of God, the season is coming. Whereby when we walk into a city, that city we know, they are men of the kingdom who are standing. Walking in this kingdom, whereby we are not known men. Why? Because the kingdom of God has come down inside men. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is a dimension in this world where the child of God, you should be saying, A kingdom child cannot become a badass in a school. No, I am a kingdom woman. And as a kingdom woman, kingdom women can only be position one. Kingdom women can only be position one. Can only be position one. Lord, I refuse to be. Then you enter, John of God and say, enough is enough. I am a winner and I cannot lose anything in Why? Because the kingdom of God has, the will of God, number one, the kingdom, the kingdom has come inside me. If you don't get sick, I don't get sick. If you don't get sick, I don't get sick. If you don't sleep early, I don't sleep early. Why? Because the kingdom is inside me. Hallelujah. There is no way demon can continue to torment you and you are walking in the kingdom. And I am speaking because there is a kingdom that I carry in this church today. By the power of the Holy Ghost, somebody you came here and you are being embarrassed by the devil. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. You are praying to your uncle. You are praying to your sister. You are praying to your brother. You are praying to your father. You are praying. Maybe that phone call came and that is when my job started doing bad. I come by the authority of heaven to declare. As soon as the kingdom of God is inside us, the will of a witch cannot happen in your life. Oh, yeah. I came by the anointing to declare there is no witch that can kill you. There is no witch that can kill your business. There is no witch that can stop your children from going to school in the name of Jesus. Why? Because the kingdom of God is inside us. And when we carry the kingdom, we bring set that down. Hallelujah. There is no resting until the kingdom of darkness has been brought down at our feet. We are not ordinary men. Praise the Lord. So what am I saying? Jesus came. He gave us the one to whom all. Genesis 1 26. Then from there, the Bible says, We came into the 
the days of Enoch. The Bible says, and Enoch discovered there is a dimension of the kingdom where you can walk with God and your life will never be the same again. There is a dimension of the kingdom where Enoch realized that our father, the prayer, our father, who thou art in heaven, that will be done on earth as it is done in heaven, he declared the will of God in my life must be done as it is in heaven. And the end of began to walk with God. And the Bible says, and the end of walk with God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and Enoch was no more. Why? Because he walked with God. Child of God, listen to me. Stop this nonsense of going to the, your religious ways of doing things. The time has come for us, the children of God, to enter into a place where we say, Lord, your kingdom must be established in my life. Whatever does not look like you in me must get out of my way. And in the name of Jesus, my life must walk. I must walk as a child of the kingdom. Hallelujah. You cannot walk as a child of the kingdom and you are beaten like them. That is why there is a difference between a Jew and the people who are not born again. A Jew is a person that Jesus died for. Are we in agreement? That is why, children of God, listen, we came to the days of, at the end of, there was a man called, thank you, Holy Ghost. There was a man called Noah. The Bible says, God, there was wickedness on the whole earth. Can you imagine? God is so, so, so jealous, such that when evil increased on the earth, we are to walk on the second of and the other hour was going to have a wish. So, don't think that what you are going to, if you are not a child of God, you will continue to suffer. Let me tell you that. I'm here to you, if you are not a child of God, you will continue to suffer. The children of wickedness will suffer. Let me tell you that. What to allow our dream move one about the second? And that is the one of God. Can you imagine the whole one was destroyed? Do we have to see that it can be one of the one that can be from one family, the family of no. Why? Because the Bible says, I call favor no. When there was evil on the earth, men, listen, this is the time to say, Lord, the season has come where things are not going on well on the face of the earth. And when you hear rumors, people are dying, people are getting sick. Nothing is good happening on the face of the earth. But the Lord, I am here, and your kingdom must be established in my life. As you did in the days of Noah, can you imagine if you are living in the days of Noah? That's why we are preaching this gospel without resting. Why? Because we want you to be saved. We want you to be delivered from the wicked. When the Lord will be destroyed the wicked, you will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Why? Because you are a child of the kingdom. Can you imagine? These people started laughing at Noah. Noah, you are mad. The one is coming to an end. You are going to say it to have a single suit. Mungu and Amesha and Lisa have a single suit. That is why Usikuwa and Amesha and Lisa have a single suit. Kwa sababu wao hawa sikisa uki ya wana. And I came here by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the grave. Anyone who is not a worshiper of God, God will believe. God will go home. God will come to the same. God down there. I'm telling you the truth. The people of God will be listed as those wicked people. Yesu. 
Wengine wote wataangamia jehanamu. So child of God, Jesus one. Where are you? Man of God, do you want to tell me all the people, billions of people who are Islam will go to hell? Mark my word. God is not a man that is right. He is so much concerned. Is my according to the scriptures, he was cast. Why? Because he don't believe God. It is the high time to walk in the dominion of God. To say, Lord, we must deserve you. We don't have any other business. We must deserve you. I must deserve you all the days of my life. I don't care where you are serving God. It's not a must to serve God in this church. But as long as you are serving God, you are serving God. Praise the Lord. The son of one of the sons of Abraham, Connor, Joseph, the son of Jacob, of course, the son of Isaac, and the son of Abraham, found themselves in a slavery land. Whereby, Wakati wa Omekata Mungu, Ama Omekata Katika Wepo Mungu, Tukiangalia Kutikaona Chico, Wakati Alienda, Akiwa Aliza Awatu, Watoko Kumi na Mawili, Mwanya Kwa Lito Rasi Kwa Lito Joseph, Nduguzaki Wa Kamonea Wivu, Wa Kamonea Katika Inchi Ya Utumu, Inchi. Walikuwa wanataka kumua, mmoja akasuggest, akasema hapa sio vizuri kumua. Watu tumuuze kama siwezi. Akaenda nchi. Let me tell you something, child of God. No matter where you are found yourself in, as long as you are the seed of God. As long as you are the seed of God, God will get you where you are. Imagine this. At one time, Joseph was in prison. At another time, this weekend, Uma, Potiphar, is claiming that the man has left to him, which was a lie. And another time, the man is in the parade being a prime minister. What are you talking about? Why? Because he fear God. Because he fear God. Wherever you go across the nations of the world, carry with you Jesus. Joseph entered Egypt with Jesus. Can I tell you something? And the Bible says he ruled Egypt as a prime minister. And he is the one that rescued the whole generation of Egyptians. When drought came for seven one man, one man, one man. Tell someone one man. One man. Let me preach to these children. Listen to me. I'm upgrading a, a, a your faith. Let me tell you, children of God, you don't need a lot of things for you to become what God wants you to become. You just need to have Jesus from now until the end. Joseph, at a young age, he did not understand. I am kind God. Now, remember, move. So when he entered in Egypt, he became the prime minister. And the Bible says he sent both the Egyptians and the Israelites. Until the brothers who sold him, when there was drought in Ghana, they came in Egypt because there was food in Egypt. Why was, it, why was there food in Egypt? Because there was a man who carried the move of God. One man carried the move of God. And that one man, Shaka Habaya, that one man, the Egyptians and again he saved his brothers from drugs. Tukama moji. Wakakunja wakamuambia siti tumetoka inji. Awakura wakakura wakamuambi ni ule kuyama. Chutu we listen to some of you by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will feed the millions. You will be become more than Joseph in the name of Jesus. You will be appearing and people are making right because you have a lot of food to give them. Those are directions. Let me tell you the word of God. There is a way you can save the whole because God has blessed you. There is no way you can walk with God and your life remain the same. It is impossible. So then I discovered about this dimension at the age of 20. I discovered I am going against everything in our family. I'm not going to listen to my sisters. I'm not going to listen to my brothers. I'm not going to listen to anybody. I am going to follow the way of Christ. And I began to read the scriptures. And I walked in the way of God. And I can tell you for free by the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, at the age of 30, and you feel 80 years old who are 1,000 and everyone learn what is unique and great here by the grace of God and I also discovered that I came also in this place and I summoned all the elderly people and I told them come I want to prove you praise the Lord those are directions when you have to come where will God come to hide will he find a man like Jacob 
We don't need, that is why I told you children, listen to me. We don't need thousands of people. We need one person of faith to save a generation. We need one woman to save a generation. We need one person to save a family. One person, not to work in your family. You are just needed one person. As long as you are here, and I declare, that is you, in the name of Jesus. I came to announce again, say amen. I came to declare, that is you, in the name of Jesus. Amen. One person. And the whole of Egypt was blessed. And they came and were given food by our prime minister called Joseph. A man carrying a move of God can do, can do great things in people's lives. A man carrying a move of God can change nations. A man carrying a move of God can change a woman. There was a woman called Esther. She entered the king's palace. And the whole of Israel was saved because of a woman. So when we are talking about men, even women can do great things. Women, listen to me. This is not the time to get money by jokers. This is the time to say, Lord, I want you to use me. As you have ever used people before. This is me, Lord, and my life cannot be the same again. Commit yourself to something called and to seek his kingdom. And you will walk in the dominion of his kingdom of this world. And your life will never be the same again. I came to speak to someone here by the power of the Holy Ghost. And you feel in your family, you look like center everywhere. You thought when your brother was educated, when your sister finished university, now they will get a job. Now you are seeing evil is happening. It is not as long as you are here by the grace of God, the Spirit of God will deliver them, and their lives will never be the same again. I came with the anointing to promise her by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. No plan of the enemy will succeed in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> when they were in Egypt, because of one man. What you are missing, Mungu Akawa, what you are a person. Hesh, what you are a man, for 431 years, God did not speak. The Bible says, and God summoned the angels of heaven. Something should happen on the earth. Kujeni Hapa, what you are a man, children of God. It's only that some of us have never taken the one of God seriously. There is a place you can enter into a place of prayer until the angels of heaven are taught. Every the business in heaven, the solution is like, ah, ah, there is a public cloud. We have to go. We have to go. And then they wake up in the morning very early and they begin to march. The Bible says the children of Israel were to go by. Walking the sick. Then the Bible says, and they cry to God, and the Lord delivered their cry. But the answer is you. Child of God, as long as you are not crying to God, come and we leave you. How can you place the captives in your family? If you don't discover what has been eating your family members and disconnect yourself with the media event, and you begin to move in a dimension of God. Praise the Lord. So get what? The Bible says, and they cried unto God, and, Lord, and the Lord came down and he told to Moses. He said, Moses, I know you have been brought up in a fairness of a home. Now I want to send you to deliver my people. Let me tell you, children. The one who is Israeli was talking to see. What think a Kami could you cover millions of people for a year? Talk about Kamoja. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. The one who is talking to see. What they get Kami. By the time Moses was no more, millions of people had died on the way. Those who died were both the Israelites and the enemies of Israel, including Egypt. Can I tell you something? God has no, has no business with the wicked. Anyone that is not born again is an enemy of God. Any time a power of destruction comes, when I walk the Watanabia Wajira and Yesu, Mungu Anna Hanja, the one who is the one who is the one who is the one Child of God, Mungu Anna Hanja, the one who is the one I am repeating this again by the grace of God. Mungu Anna Hanja, the one who is the one Mungu ana anja na watu wa wajaokoka. Ambia mtu Mungu ana anja. Na watu wa wajaokoka. Oh yes. That is why we have been sent to preach the gospel so that everyone can hear the gospel. Hallelujah. And he said those who believe will be saved. Those who do not believe will be condemned. Are we together? We'll be condemned. So we are preaching the gospel so that no one will say, Lord, I never hear the gospel. I never heard the gospel. 
Ndiyo wewe kukubilia njiri umeka decision No, I want to follow you on the days of my life Hallelujah And I know Jesus when I follow him My life will never be the same again Can I tell you something? God will kill all the enemies of the Egyptians To save just a portion of small people Praise the Lord Don't worry with those children They are happy in the house of God Sasa unataka wali Let them jump Let them praise God Hallelujah Tuko pamoja Yani wewe kama una Mungu mtoto wa Mungu is that the truth kama una Mungu kwa roho yako kama una Yesu Bwana ana jana wewe that is what we are preaching the gospel that is how we are going to cause the nation of to preach to people give your life to Christ come to Jesus so that the plague of destruction because let me tell you as a prophet of this nation the spirit of destruction is coming and the wicked people will suffer let me tell you only those who are born again na mtakuja kuniambia kuna roho inakuja kuangamiza wale ambao hawajaokoka put this in the by the grace of god there is a disaster that is coming those people who do not believe in god they will cry in their families let me tell you but the children of god will be sent by jehovah because jehovah loves his children so guess what for god to send his children moses came up joshua came up and after joshua they were judges only for one reason to save the Jewish people. The people that were called by the name of the Lord. Listen. Now, it was not all godless prophets and the servant in the Old Testament until he looked at it and said, humanity cannot save uh, prophets. Kings cannot save human life. I have to save my own son as my one so that he can go and recruit others. Me and him now. How it better? So yes, we are going to come to the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says Jesus died for our sins because man was sinless. Mungu wa Israel kusema mwanadamu from Genesis to Malachi, they could not have it. Akasema, yes, we know you are all sinners, including all of us here. But when you look at Jesus, you become clean. So when we say ni wanema ni wanema. Child of God, wacha kuangalia mtu mwingine hapo unaona kama ni mwenye dhambi zaidi yako. Wewe ulikuwa mwenye dhambi, Yesu tu alikuhubia. Praise the Lord. Na kama Yesu alikuhubia, alisema, yeyote atakapolitazama, nitaapia na nitakuja na mimi nitamsafisha dhambi zake na atakuwa pale kwa mbinguni. Na imagine you don't have need to go to a school of law when you submit your candidate. And it is the status of your heart. You believe in Jesus in your heart, confess it with your mouth and you get saved and then you become a child of God. Can you imagine? That is how simple it is. And from there, the demons that have been disturbing your family, the demons that have been destroying and stopping you, will never come near you again. Why? Because when they come, they will find Jesus in your home. Hallelujah! Amen. 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 Akikuja kwa mama anakupata wewe ama anapata Yesu. Praise the Lord. Tabaki wewe. Akikuja kwa mama atapata nani? There are places where he walks around and he cannot pass. Hai, hapo ngeti umezunguka na Yesu. Anakimbia ndio anarudi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mama zingine akikuja anapata mganga anasema basi. Sasa hapa ndio. Anaanza kuangalia mkono wa Yona imeona visi vingi kwa kula hii mwaka. Praise the Lord. Kwa sababu amepata kwa mama ni mwanga tu. Children of God, uwezi yenelea na kuweka vitu baba yako waliweka. Kuna watu wapa wameweka vitu, ifoka na kasi anjo wafina meta hafi kwa humisi. Na baba yako walikuwa na pika yona unasema umukoka wachana na hizo vitu. Wengine wameweka picha kwa ukuta ati baba yenu wakikunyo karobu. Wachana na hizo vitu, hiyo roho ina kuwacha ba. Praise the Lord. Oh yes, that is a spirit in the man wako. There are people here who are enjoying Ati munasema, sisi, tumezaliwa hivi. Child of God, wachana na hizo vitu. The time has come for us to repent and walk in the way of Jesus and declare Jesus, it is you from the beginning to the end and my life, without you, I can do nothing. Kuna watu wapa tu, mbani wanaenda kwa wakani, na wengini wanaenda kwa wachana. Kuna mtu wanafikiria mbani wanaenda kwa wakani kwa wakani. Child of God, wacha kujibuwa mbani. Utateseka. Baba yako, sasa ni kubise soo. Babu yako, babu ya babu yako wana mjui jina. Alienda kwa mungama. Aya, 
baba yake akaenda kwa mganga mpaka kufika kwa baba yako ni fifth generation na walienda kwa na mbaga unazaidika bado unatembea unafikiria nini nitakusaidia isipokuwa kuadilisha hiyo generation kasi praise the lord yes kuna watu wamezaliwa na umasikini ukipinduka ni masikini unaangalia hiki hata mwezi siku ikiangaza kama zaidi ya kwa kawaida mwezi kila mtu anaangua kuna mtu pia mwezi inaenda kwa sababu nyumba yako ni nyasi kama ni babaki imetokoka and instead of you guys na nakwambia shetani naweza kuwa ninakaa hapa leo lakini kesho Yesu niliyompokea hatanitoa hapa sitaendelea na kukaa hapa kwa jina la Yesu why many people are criticizing the preachers of the God for who preach prosperity? Why? Because people must prosper. You want me to preach poverty? Who have ever eaten poverty? Nani anapenda uwasi? Nani anapenda kulaja? Nani anapenda kukosa mabasi? Nani anapenda kukosa pia ya kwenda tangu? Nani anakosa anapenda kukosa chakula nzuri? Ni nani? So why are you want kwa nini mnasema atawahubiri? Wewe uhubiri tu Yesu watu waende mbinguni stupid. The Bible says the kingdom of God come. Unahubiri watu wapende mbinguni ndani? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Biblia inasema tuite mbingu wapi? So kama sasa wewe ati umezoea kutezeka, ukiona mtu amenunua gari, unasema huyo mtu hata si mtu wa Mungu. Huyo mtu ameenda kwa kaburi shetani kwa sababu wao na kaburi shetani wanafikiria shetani anaambiwa na kila mtu. Kuna watu wanaabudu Mungu na Mungu aliyobarikiwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wanapiga magoti na wakitoka kupiga magoti wanaingia kwa ndege, wanaenda kwa nyumba zao. Na Bwana amewabariki kwa jina la Yesu. Who said that only the worshipers are rich? Let me tell you the season for the worshipers to be rich as God of men. It is time for the children of God to become rich. That is why we are preaching to prosper the God. So that people can stop this hypocrisy of saying if you want to become rich, go to Kalbanze, go to this. That is madness. We are preaching this gospel and Jesus must raise millionaires in the church. Amen. Not in a place of devils. Praise the Lord. And let me tell you, you must have a good machetani and a good machin. After we end up with a kikufa, who are going to share the money with you? We are not going to share the money with you. Why? Because we are going to live by the kingdom of God. When you prosper in Christ, it becomes generation after generation. Na inasaidia thousands of people. When Jacob prospered, he took the prosperity where to reach it. Praise the Lord. So we cannot only tell these children that when you want to prosper, you must go to which that is allowed. Listen to me, children. You don't have you don't have to go to Mombasa at the Kwamutu and Ajita Babu Amari at the Yotajirika. That is madness. You need to serve God so that one, if you want to become rich. Praise the Lord. Amen. You need to serve God if you want to become rich. Don't let madness of people say that they are going to be a man. That is madness. Who are going to be a man? Who said the devil can make anyone rich? Shetan is going to be a man who is going to be a man who is going to be a man. Awezi akafanya mtu yeyote akakuwa tajiri. Why? Why walikuwa matajiri kwa sababu ya mapepo? Simuliona vile waliandika. Abei, Abea ile roka. Dubai zako. Wanaweza hata toa pesa ya kujenga kanisa kama hii. Can they say Jesus is Lord? Can they give you food in their homes when you are Therefore, how can you say that those who prosper in Christ, na Yesu amewakusa, they can feed the poor, they can give to the helpless help. Can the devil do that in this world? No. That foolishness will come out of the people's mind. Wale watu wanaabudu kwa shetani. Awa wengi wakakupatia wa. Enda kwa wakati kuna jia. Utashanga sana. They cannot give you money. They can't because they are money kwa na mashauti. Wameambiwa ukipea mtu wameoko kupesa yako. Umealipu honda ya ufano wa mkisi. Praise the Lord. Before they come with their money, they take to a witch. Na wanatembea hata ukiangalia hawana Mungu they are godless. But then God, their time is coming to an end. The time has come for anyone that went to a witch hapa mtu aliyenda kwa mganga atajirike, mwingine akachukua majiri na mwingine akachukua mapepo, wakatoa wakukufa wamefika and they will die in the name of Jesus. And as they die, some of them will die by accident. Some of them will die just they will just be in a hospital. Atasikia tu amemwona na kichwa ameenda akakufa. Why? Because if you are a fire, back of the one dog, one amid you, that is the devil from hell. Child of God, listen to me. If you want to become rich, begin to serve God now. By the time you arrive at 30, you
you'll be a millionaire. Why? Because he says in the book of Matthew 6 that he seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall come. All these things. Let me tell you two truth. There are people who are billionaires and they were born in church and they don't the people in any way. Praise the Lord. That is why people like those when you come near them, you become blessed. You become blessed. If you are appointed to die, since we came into this place, how many people, I am a man of God, I know there were people in this, families in this church who are appointed to die, one and for all. Wachau walikuwa wamesema nini hakuna baadhi. Wakangaga all their forces to kill some of the people in this church. But God told me, man, I have anointed you. Stop these things in the city. Go back in the village. I want you to save the nation. And I came here without knowing what they want to speak about me. I came by the anointing and I stood and that is why I have never got to preach anywhere else. I was coming here and I come here where I was sent. They have tried to invite me to their churches. I have never gone there. I always came here. Why? Because I came to save a generation. Because a generation must arise and become great in life. I came to declare the name of Jesus. That the children that are seated here, you will become great men and women of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will bring change in your families. And your life will never be the same again. Stand up on your feet. There is no way you can live without Jesus. Jesus is everything. If you are here and you are not given your life to Christ, come on, 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 I want to pray for you. Sometimes it feels hard to say, Jesus, come into my heart. What do I say, my Jesus, your God? Life starts somewhere. You must be born again. You must be born again. One of the qualifications for entering walking into this dominion is believing in Jesus as well. So you are here and you are not saved. You are in danger. You are in danger. You are in danger. You are in danger. The devil looks at you and I'm going to give you my hand. So the time comes where you say, Lord, it is me and my love. If you are here and you are not saved, Come here, I want to pray for you to get saved. I will come back to you and I will say that I will come back to you. 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 That is the first step of knowing Jesus. Because I feel in my spirit there are people here. The Spirit of God directed you to come here. There was no other reason. Is so that you can give your life to Christ. Reason: When you get saved, you get saved from accident. You get saved from death. You get saved from evil. You get saved from anything evil. And remember in that our Lord's prayer, He said, "Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil." That means when you pray God to deliver you, there are evils in this world that can attack anyone, including you. If you are not born again. Stand up, call, listen to me. Kuna wakati maofu inaweza kuondokea unashimwa. Kweli mimi ni meokoka. That is why Jesus said, pray and face. Deliver us from evil. There are evil spirits that come to your home. They make you to live evil dreams. Unawata dodo kikibizu wana nyoka usiku. Unakibizu na wazae nishirimu. Praise the Lord. Wakati mwingine unawata ukiwa kwa matatu. Na ujui na kupereka wapi. Those are demons. You are another captivity of the devil. At some people here, unawata tu, atukiwa kerazi wangu. Na wewe ni mama mse. Oh yes. Unawata tu, doto mofu. Why? Because there is something wrong in the realm of the spirit. God wants to save you, that is why he sent me a time like this. So that I may come and preach to you the gospel of Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, children of God, listen. This gospel is not for the poor. 
Some people say that first, those people who go to churches. That is why when you go to several churches, the Bible will say that is Lakini wa zea wako. That is a demon from hell. Wa zea wa nabaka kwenye kanisani wa kuokoka. Go and tell them, come to church. Wa ambie, wa kunye kanisani. Bani yesu wa sifigo. Ati kusea meenda hapa, meenda kukunye wa pombe. Mukikutana kwa mboma, wa ingia kwa toka kanisani. Ananuka pombe na wa ingia yesu. Hata hiyo mboma itakamika kwenye. Praise the Lord. They should be sent and come to church. Who said the church is for the poor? The church is not the poor. That is why God has raised us a time like this. And is prospering us so that we can change that doctrine. That people that go to church can also become very rich. Sia tunaweka ba hapa chini pia kwa ngamisa watoto wetu. Na unakuja kutuabia kwa wewe kuna pesa wetu ena kalisani. That is a devil. And in the name of Jesus, we close that by in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the power of the Holy Ghost. We came to declare that we save a generation. And a generation must be saved. Our children must be saved. You cannot be like our fathers. Something must be taken in the realm of the spirit. We must become the seekers of God. Tell someone become the seekers of God. Wakati wa mama matamuka sa kumi ya usiku na kwaza kumiliria buwana. Kwa sababu ya watoto wangu Wakati vijana kapra mwede shure Sio unangote mama yako wata anakuwa mwisha na kurangeti Anakuonga mwungu Kyo wa mwke Ana anakupata uko on Unasema wana yesu Saidia mama yangu Saidia masomo yangu Saidia isi ditapu Nina kuenda kuzinsoma Fungua macho yangu Nione vizuri Hallelujah Yes Children Pray for your books Wake up at four Before a teacher comes Speak to you and say, say I am a great person. Jiangalia kwa ukuta na usere mimi. Ata kama una imani si usere mimi ni kama nituwele kakon. I will conquer the nations of the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. So there are people that believe that we came into this village to preach this gospel because we are desperate. My friend, we came here because that is where God sent us. That is why we have not demanded anything. We came genuinely. We are not after anybody's money. We are not after anything. We are after the kingdom of God because we want people to be helped. Praise the Lord. That is why we use our resources so that we can be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. And I declare nothing can stop the word of God from happening into the people's lives in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what our fathers planted, we come with a new planting and declare in the name of Jesus the God that found us in our desperation. It's the same God that will fight in us in your season. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm to my life. Will never be the same again. Never be the same again. One be my life. My life is changing. One be my life. Will never be the same again. Hallelujah. The season has come for us to stop that only thinking, children of God. That we were born like this, we made like this. No, you cannot remain like that. Ata kama utaki, utatoka kwa jina na Yesu. That is why I'm insisting. Ata kama utaki, listen to me children, you will buy your own cars. Kwa jina na Yesu. There is no way we can, no budget, in the whole family, no one has a car. Even a car, you can make the cars. Ata by scale kwenu wakukua, ata na itiru. Praise the Lord. You can say you have enough. And let me tell you children of God. We have been told to preach the gospel. Yes! Some of these bishops who came from the religion, when they came there, they preached the gospel. That is why they preached poverty to you. Poverty cannot come out of your mind because you are told at the one who has been good, you are a good one. My friend, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm telling you the truth. Some of you are going to do it. The way to heaven is Jesus. But the way to prosper is understanding the word of God. Understanding the word of God. The way I'm preaching it. Kuelewa nina wa mungu. Lakini yo tuliwepa kwa aki. Unajua yu wa zungu pia they have no discipline. At some time they came and told us you have in cancer. Yani wano wenyeo wanakuja huku. Wanakuletea wuzaha. Na wanakuja wanatokia tukuru wa bore. Lakini wano wenyeo wanimatanjiri. Tunajulita siri yao ini. Wame tuletea msaana. Veni wanatuambia kujeni Amerika. Tukienda Amerika, tunaenea msaana. 
wakikuja Kenya wanatuletea msaada tumebaki masikini hawajatufundisha jinsi ya kupeana wametufundisha jinsi ya kupokea kwa sababu walikuwa wanataka wakawa wametufinyilia sema nimekataa nimekataa Yo mano, no sé, 
Na hii watu wa kinabikiwe, how do they survive? Yes, we carry the spirit of God. We are not the ordinary men. Praise the Lord. Kwa sababu ya Yesu. So what am I saying? Omba, mama funga macho, bea mtoto wako. Omba, buwana, pepo ilie mkamata. Akatolewa mshavu, wakaenda na yobi. Na anikumbuki, na akumbuki ya na kujenga kiosu. Na akumbuki kumanya chochote na akona pesa. Iyo roo, tunaikata katika jina la Yesu. Tunaikata. Kwa toto wetu wanaenda, wanafanya kazi na yobi, wanaunda hapo wakiwa waze, na wana chochote. That is a curse. Praise the Lord. Tunakuja kutangata kwa jina la Yesu. Kila mtoto alia kamatiwa na irobi. Aka kamatiwa mchi wote. Katika jina la Yesu. Kwa ajili ya mafunda anointing oil. Tunafunja kila laana kwa jina la Yesu. We break it with us. Walio watuma. Wakaambia wasikumbuke nyumbana. Wasifanya chochote. Pesa wakipata iti wasaindie. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ninatangaza maneno ya andui Aina na fati katika maisha ya Listen to me, there are people Ata kuna watu wana kuna fati Ukona mshara, ukona pesa, unarima Yani ukona kila kitu wata umerima maindi Kumia ishidiri, kumia kumi Lakini baada ya hiyo, hakuna kitu mkini utafati Ata kwa nunga yako, uwezi nunga wata mabati moja Unachidwa, hivi inafanya nunga yako Chumbu wana ukon, I have come to introduce to you Iyo rana itaondoka kwa jina la Yesu Ninafikia kuna watu baada ya miaka mbili, baada ya miaka tatu, utasema kwa kweni, kazi hii nimepata, bwana amenibariki, niko na nyumba, niko na watoto wanasoma. Praise the Lord. Kwa sababu unaweza kuona matunda ya kazi yako. Unafanya kazi lakini ya uone unafanyia nini? Unafanyia kitumbo na hata ushiki. Praise the Lord. Hiyo ni laana. I'm speaking the spirit of God. Mtu wakimuomba kitu na mwabia, nisaidie, anunambia watu wele nyumbani, unajua mimi sina pesa. Na hawa watu wakipigia siku wakona hopu, kwa sababu wanaona ukokazi. Umechukua mandeni, umeandika mandeni, unadaiwa milioni moja, unadaiwa pesa, kwa sababu umechukua maroo. Jadi, na uchui yoroo, umechukua ili kubereka wana. Na nilifanya ni, diyo maana you are desperate. Now, you don't want to do, by the grace of God, I came to release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. That demon is coming out of your life in the name of Jesus. That devil is breaking by the power of the Spirit of God. Kuna watu mtu wanaliko mshahara ya zike tatu. Na wengine wanaliko mshahara ya rumia moja. Lakini ukiene unaona huu mtu wanaliko ya elfu tano. Ni kama ni tajiri. Kuliko yule ambaye anafanya mshahara wa nini? Awi nangili me. Those are cases. By the power of God we came to declare. Ati kikuja ushakua kwa nituwa mtu. Kwa sababu taki uonekane Kwa sababu aibu imekuja Hauna chechote Hauna tofauti na ule mtu Hata watu wanakau kushabu Wanalima ni wazuri kukuliko I came by the anointing to declare the name of Jesus In the realm of the spirit Whoever is reasoning to me today By the power of the Holy Spirit Wherever you are By the power of God We pray that God in the name of Jesus I came by the anointing. 
anointing of the Holy Ghost to declare. By faith anointing that your hands be delivered. Kupitia mafuta haya, mikono yako ikakomborewe. Pesa zako zikakomborewe katika jina la Yesu. If you believe in this prophecy, there is an anointing on my hands right now. I want you to come here quickly. You just touch my hands by the anointing in the name of Jesus. Go back in the name of Jesus. We break that cut by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. We deliver you from the cut in the name of Jesus. We deliver you in the name of Jesus. Those hands are delivered. Those hands are delivered. Paka mikono yote mimiri kwa jina la Yesu. Those hands are delivered in the name of Jesus. We deliver those hands. Tunakomboa yo mikono kwa jina la Yesu. Tunakomboa yo mikono kwa jina la Yesu. Tunakomboa yo mikono kwa jina la Yesu. Dana utabarikiwa. Mama utabarikiwa. Uzao wako utabarikiwa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Paka mikono yako miwiri kwa jina la Yesu. Pesa zako zitabarikiwa. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Mikono ya watoto, we deliver you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. We deliver you in the name of Jesus. We deliver you in the name of Jesus. Be free, be free. Take it in the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord. Rakababosha. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be free, be free. Be free, somebody pray. Say, Mabwana Mikono Yangu. Kwanzia Leo. Itabarikiwa. Mikono Yangu. Kwanzia Leo. Itabarikiwa. Inakemea. Le Baka Zata Labosha. Le Baba Kosa Te. Tunatangaza yo Mikono. Katika Jina la Yesu. We declare. In the mighty name of the Lord. Mikono yetu. Itabarikiwa. Katika Jina la Yesu. We rebuke the cards of delay. In the mighty name of Jesus. We rebuke the cards of delay. In the mighty name of Jesus. We rebuke Jesus, Nina Punja Kilarana, Nina Punja Kilarana, 
ninakuja kila laana ili yotupa katika maisha ya familia yetu ninakataa kutezeka katika jina la Yesu fungua kinywa chako kataa laana reba kazeta leba babosha rama kazeta we pray the cup of puberty we pray the cup of puberty we pray the cup of puberty we pray the cup of delay we pray the cup we pray the cup to kabasa kazi nzuri to kabasa kazi nzuri pesa tutayo pata ile kusaidia matunda yake itaonekana katika jina la Yesu reba kazeta leba babosha someone pray 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 pika makombe ukiomba Sasa hizi zile mradi tunaendesha ni mradi sio sana wewe. 
Hata namba faith utabauti kwa jina la Yesu. Because you have entered levels by the grace of God. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Nani alisema ni mzuri speaker ndiye anaweza endesha kazi nzuri peke yake? Uze Yesu. Nani alisema atendele kitu peke yake ndiye anaweza endesha ndiye? Nani alisema? Nani alisema iko? Jehovah is God. Na nimesema kwa jina la Yesu the God that I serve will lift this to you. Like what you are paying to do for evidence. That is why people are ignorant. When I came with the evidence of the Holy Spirit working in my life, you should believe me to you. Because there is something at least you can see. At least I am teaching you what I have walked in. I'm not teaching you about it, but because I'm not poor. By the grace of God. The Jesus I am talking to, even the 12,000 people, men and women, 12,000, who told you Jesus was poor? Alilisha what you have come in a gap? Nabi. Na saidi ya yote wakakuna na wakabakisha basi. Sikini gapi? Kumi na mi. What are you talking about? We get to the clear. Nini watoto kwa jina la Yesu? Panguza yuzo zengi wanda kujirumi. Mutatajirika kumari musikubani. Wachawi wambela wako nisuhia. Awata nisuhia kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. If they never stop me, they will never stop me. And let me tell you what I'm sorry to say this. Wacha ni wambia hivi yungu kareka kushene. Mi ya mwabari vichi kazo. Very good. Nenge panelewa mundu. Mundu mkuti ya. Apesa ka. Wa mundu wa chato jena kete la. Very good. So usiona kitu na wapini jiku. Kwa sababu si. Ni vile tumeje nyenekea mbeleza mungu. Praise the Lord. We are not poor. We are not poor. So why am I being the one of God to you? Because every man that is a sin they carry. Why am I what I put my shetani in my jiri. Our wife put ya kuambia si kitu na wambia. Kwa sababu katika ufame wao kuna sili. Lakini ufame wengi wa Yesu. Hakuna siri, siri ni Yesu. Hakuna mtu siri ni Yesu. Siri ni Yesu. Ndiyo maana, saa moja ni kwa baka nisani. As we talk, saa kumi, ni takuwa maani kanisani tu. Watch it in God. Because I am not in a business. My business is the kingdom of my father. The more I serve him, the more he increases me. All of a sudden, the phone calls, joy. You know what? Buy another car. Joy, you know what? Build another house. And by the grace of God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we are going to build a city in Nairobi called Foundation Mall by the grace of God. One of the biggest mall ever in the name of Jesus. Why? Because there is a place we have entered in this world where we are not honored. Praise Jesus. Amen. That is why we are building the gospel to the village. Take advantage of the gospel, child of God. Take advantage of the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Take advantage of what we are giving you. That is why I am not in Amba. I came here to bring you the good news. Tell your brothers, your sisters, come and receive the word of God. Children, go and preach to your fellow children. Tell them, I have seen a man. Praise the Lord. He has sent us here and we must preach this one. Be here for the Jesus. Hallelujah. And we came to declare to our own life viewers by the grace of God. We are bringing to you from the village. Concord village by the grace of God. This is not a the gospel. Because we are bringing the word of God into the village. The anointing of God should not only be in the city. We are saying even Mama in the village must receive a move of God. We are saying by the anointing, women in the village with the other is taking care of their love. And all of a sudden the spirit of God will run on them. And they shall begin to speak in new tongues. Because the Spirit of God has no limitations. We came to bring the gospel in the village. We came to declare the gospel of the city. It's the gospel of the village in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to me. I'm fine guys. I have this brother video here. I have this brother 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 here. Waja kwa hupa hupa hapa ukimbia mungu. Yana kwa kanisa jipeleki yako, chukua microphone. Dance for the Lord. Yes, I like this kind of crazy people. Sometimes you will take them, you may think they are mad, they are not mad. Na weza akariye ni honu wego anunacheza ni baya wate ni kuoleshi. No fear. Because we are starting with your mother hapa kwa mbaya. Yes, hapa kwa mbaya, hapa kwa mbaya, hapa kwa mbaya. And we are going to do our work at the end. We are very good singers here, very good dancers. The king.
Lakini kwa sababu ya uoga hawa wetu wakasimama hapa mbele. When they claim the name of Jesus, hiyo uoga imeshindwa kwa jina la Yesu. Haleluya. We must suffer. Mzee tu wangu na viewers si in the name of Jesus, we pray for you. Pray for you. Release the grace and the anointing of God upon your life. But the, the gospel that you've been preaching here will come directly to your home. We'll face it to you individually. And the Spirit of God will change things in your life. I came to declare by the anointing of God that your family is delivered. Your children are delivered. I rebuke the spirit of the devil that has caused you to remain the same. In the name of Jesus, your life will never be the same again. And I got a question of Jesus. What do you want to do with the Lord? Where will you find the Lord? Where will you find the Lord? kwa jina la Yesu. Najua kuna wamama wako na nzuri kwa moyo wao. Kwa sababu ya watoto wao, kwa sababu ya mambo wanayofanya. Kwa jina la Yesu, naomba neema yako ikaone neema ya Yesu ikakuonekanie. Na kutoka leo, ukaone matunda ya kazi ya mikono yako. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi shangwe na mimi. Tunaweza keti kwa jina la Yesu. Naomba tutoe. Naomba tutoe sadaka kwa jina la Yesu. Tutoe sadaka. Can end that conversation and thank you. Naomba tutoe sadaka zetu kwa jina la Yesu. Thank you.